Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being with us today. We are down here in beautiful Jefferson, South Carolina. Way out in the country. We're about three miles outside of town. And uh, we have this lot here that we bought a little while back that uh, had an old beat up trailer on it that uh, was hauled off. And uh, we have hauled another used trailer on it. <laughs> so we are just starting working on the thing. And we figured we'd film our adventure, so if you're interested in... Oh, I missed a good shot there. The guy was throwing trash out the window. That if, if, uh, if you're interested in uh, perhaps rehabbing trailers for rental, mobile homes, this may be of use to you. We've got this nice lot here. It's a couple acres. Um... More trash out the thing. Couple acres, but this thing just got hauled in here two days ago. So I figured I would show you what they look like whenever you buy a uh, used trailer that's been replaced uh, with a new trailer somewhere. You know, the, the dealer hauls off the old one. We've got our buddies here helping us. How's it going, man? It's good. Good, good. <laughs> this is Lewis. <laughs> We'll watch him get rid of some trash. We're ripping up some of the floors, which we'll, we'll show that here in a minute. But figured on this first video we would show kind of what we're starting with. Since we're in the country, you can just burn the trash, so no problem. Of course, you got to do it safely and everything. But whenever we bought this place, the people that were here before had trash everywhere. I mean, just, there was actually a building here on the back of this other dilapidated building that was just full of stuff. And our buddy Lewis here and his brothers, or his brother, helped us clear it out and we burn it all. It's actually all in through there. This, the, the trailer that was here had this huge deck on the back of it, but it was, it was starting to show signs of age. So we've, uh, pulled that off of the lot okay we're in this trailer we bought you go back here and you see this this room's pretty tore up got a hole in the wall it's got a bad spot in the floor there um other other than that it looks okay but we're gonna pull this we're gonna pull all this carpet up here in just a minute and we'll see exactly what we've got we got a little hole in the door here i don't know why people have to do that but the back of the door looks pretty good. And this is kind of concerning. They got that taped down for some reason. And they got the light bulbs out over there. But we'll figure that out too. The heater. Just now, I want everybody to notice Donnie's confidence and optimism. Always confident. No big deal. Nothing's a big deal. He was confident when he was two. It's horrible lighting. But the heater is missing. We'll have to get that fixed. This is a bathroom. You can't see nothing in there, but it's going to have to be totally gutted. The floor in here is going to be totally pulled out here in just a minute. Here's another hole here. As you can see, somebody's got a little hole here in the wall. We'll fix it. The kitchen looks pretty good here. It's the kitchen. It did come with stove and refrigerator. Um, all the ceilings look good in it. They're just a little stained. Um, the back porch, I mean the back for the washer and dryer. I was going to say the back porch because the back door is open, but there is no porch there. So here's the back room. And we do have some soft spots in here. Where was it? Right there. We do have some soft spots in here. We're fixing to pull this up real quick too. <laughs> Knock it out. This bathroom here is rotted right there. So we're going to pull it all out. And we'll show you some more here in a little bit. This area at the front door rotted. Uh, and someone has already repaired it. And then now that's get, gotten wet too. So there's also a hole here. Somebody kicked in the wall. Uh, and they had a piece of, of metal just screwed over. So it's stuff like this. Like, you know, we're not going to rent it to somebody with that looking like that. we got to get this looking nice so that they'll feel like uh, they've got a nice place that they can respect and enjoy owning. 
you can see that this uh, this living room area has actually been uh, repaired twice. So this laminate here is probably the original laminate that was cut away. They painted the subfloor. Likely may have had odor problems or, or whatever. And then they laid um, like a that pergo stuff over the top of it. Whatever, getting at it. So after Donnie pulled the carpet up, you can see how this back room looks. Ugh, what a mess. But it's been, we didn't do that. It's been repaired by somebody else before. So same thing, we need to cut this out. We need to figure out, remember that's where that water spigot is out on the front of the home. Uh, we've got to repair this, cut this uh, bad spot out back to the joist, put all new in, get it nice and solid where you can jump up and down in here. But you know, the, the main problem is I just use that cheap crap. I don't know, I, I can't even imagine that plywood was that much more expensive, but for whatever reason, that's what they used. And this is previous repair work. So this home's been worked a couple times already. And here you've got a uh, interesting little thing. There is this manufacturer's label here, okay? So this is what we're looking at. Westfield Homes of Georgia. Date of manufacture was February 97. Okay. It's a model 2662B. It had a, a heater installed originally. For air conditioning, it did not have an air conditioner. It had a Magic Chef uh, stove, a Magic Chef refrigerator, and a Ream water heater. The water heater is actually behind this panel here in this, in this uh, closet. This is actually the master bedroom. So, you know, you've got another leak here and a leak there, which was likely from the water heater. So we need to look at that, figure out what's going on with that. Uh, and they have listed that there was a smoke detector. So, uh, of course, we will have those in here. Uh, it is a home's constructed for zone one and zone two. Uh, it has not been equipped with storm shutters. So those are things we're worried about with how close to the, um, to the ocean it is for hurricanes and things. Uh, design roof load zone map, the south. We are in the south. It's made in Georgia. We're in South Carolina. And there's a sticker on the other end. This house uh, was in South Carolina until it was sold. Uh, da -da -da -da. So this is interesting. So this was made for South Carolina. Air conditioning was not provided at the factory. The supply air distribution system installed in this home is sized for a manufactured home central air conditioning system of up to 32,000 BTU. Okay. Heat gain information. That's interesting to see. All right, we have a bathroom in here too, but we can't really see it without some light, but it actually has a hole in the floor. Now, from what we understand, um, you can see it a little bit there. From what we understand, the woman that lived in this home before was a larger lady, let's just put it that way. And this is scary as hell to me. Not only is there a hole in the floor, that's plywood, so that's been replaced once already, and then it rotted through again. Yeah, so somebody stepped right through that hole, apparently. Look how dangerous that looks. And then look at this. There's a crack in the tub where they stepped through the tub. So uh, that's not good. So we definitely need to, we're going to need a new tub and we're going to have to redo this. We need to get this rock solid. I mean, I can't imagine falling through the floor in the bathroom. People shouldn't have to put up with that. Uh, and then they've, they've made this shelf around the top of the, to of the toilet that's just god awful. You know, so they're basically telling us that they need more storage in this bathroom. So we're going to get rid of that shelf. We're going to probably get a whole new vanity or I don't know if this one's savable or not, but... Uh, 
get this right again and then we've got to get some kind of shelving system or something for the wall there uh, because apparently the storage that was in here wasn't enough so we don't want to spend a fortune on it but we want to do just a few little things like that quickly if we can to uh, get it where the home is usable and presentable and people will enjoy living here so you see the little little thin doors that they have on the bathroom the closet door in the other rooms missing um, and of course the big closet door in this room is missing those were probably bifold doors we can get those all right so that's what we're starting with we'll go back and see what they're beating on what do y'all think about this bathroom they built this shelf right over the commode look at this now how would you possibly get in there to repair the commode you don't think about that. There's no way to get in there. These things are total plastic. The whole thing flexes when you touch it. Just straight plastic. I ain't never seen nothing like it. This floor is a little rough. And they said the lady stepped through the bathtub when she was getting in. And somebody, you see down there, somebody put duct tape over the hole in the bathtub. That's probably why this floor is like this. Hole in a bathtub, duct tape does not work. This is the area for the washer and dryer. Of course, it's had a little piece of wood put on it too because something probably leaked there as well. So we'll have to check that out. I also have a panel here that looks like it's been added or something. So maybe we had a water leak here. Just lots of, lots of water issues. Um, which need to all be addressed ahead of time so that they don't continue to eat the house alive after we fix it. It's a view out the back door of the lot. It's going to be a nice lot whenever we um, get it finished, get it cleaned up a little bit, make it a nice little home place for somebody. Um, get it all cleaned up and something presentable that they can enjoy living at. We got this back door with a window broke out. That's fun. The door itself looks in decent shape, but it needs a window. So the appliances in the other room, it said they were uh, Magic Chef, but these are Frigidaires. Both the, uh, the stove and the uh, refrigerator. I'm not sure if they work, but they're fairly clean. Well, yeah, kind of clean. Clean a bowl. <laughs> Needs a handle, obviously. Oh, there it is. I found the handle. Um, cabinets are probably salvageable. Don't want to spend a fortune, but we do want to get it all nice and presentable. You can see that this living room has good bones, doesn't it? Has good bones. So we'll get it a. Uh, We'll get this floor right, get some nice, beautiful floor covering in here that's inexpensive but durable, that looks good. Um, and I think we'll have something. Okay, Jaime, how much paint do we need in this home? How much paint? How much paint, you think? Uh, maybe two days. <laughs> you, th you think Porquito or? Uh, <laughs> Jaime says he can fix it. Hey, Jaime, are you sabe? Moto. <laughs> Everything. Everything. Okay, we'll see. Hey, I'm going to take the pictures and film and we'll see if you're sabe. Um, carpet. <laughs> so the electrical panel is behind the uh, door in the master bedroom. It's a 200 amp service. Okay. So 
We're going to pop this panel off and see what our wiring is looking like right now. Remember they cut this out of another home, so they probably just cut the, the line as it exited the bottom of the trailer. All right, so here's the panel off. Uh, got a full size panel, which is good. So basically, you get your two hots, your neutral, and there's a ground since it's already, uh, the ground's already terminated at the outside disconnect. So they have four wires that come inside. So basically, you're just gonna go straight down through this conduit underneath the trailer and then from the disconnect outside they go down through the ground and up into the trailer so uh, we need to get a uh, we need to get an electrician out here to put a new line in but that'll be about all that it needs but we're also going to have to go around and check all of the uh, sockets and outlets and lights just to make sure there's nothing crazy going on a lot of times in mobile homes people go in and just rig stuff up and tape wires together and crap but all of this looks really good and original it doesn't look like they've done anything at least to my untrained eye that's like uh, that's a real big no-no so hopefully uh, uh, the electrician and the inspector will agree and everything's good to go so we'll look at the we'll look at the box outside too and see what's going on with that. Okay, so here's the disconnect outside. The panel has been removed on the bottom there. Not sure why that is. So we're going to take the plate off and see what's going on. The reason that it has a couple breakers here is there is a well that's hooked up, uh, a well pump, and then the other one I believe used to go to this dilapidated outbuilding over here that's short for this world. Um, but it's a, it's got a big old 200 amp service disconnect up here at the top. Uh, so uh, we're going to open it up and just see what the inside looks like and see if we can get our electrician out here to get us all wired up. I don't think it'll be that big of a deal with uh, how close we've got the conduit there. I think it'll go right up, right together. Okay, so this is as far as we go, <laughs> but uh, you can see that it's basically uh, kind of a mirror of what was going on inside. You've got uh, your two big hot lugs there on the side. Um, you've got your neutral down here at the bottom, and then this large green wire is the ground that was inside the smaller one. So, if you can get that to go in there to that, everything's good. But uh, you have to get it inspected and make sure everything's cool. So don't do this. Call, a, call an electrician and have him do it. Won't even be that expensive. Okay, it's literally been like five minutes. But we jerked all this out. There's a bad spot there. Water damage there, obviously. Um, I think it's coming from that window there. You can tell that water damage there. There's water damage there, which that might be coming from the hot water heater. I don't know. And there's water damage out here that looks like it probably coming from the hot water heater at one point. So we just gotta clean this up a little bit, repair it, repair that little spot there, repair that. Um, and then we'll be back in here. We're in this other room now tearing the floor out of it as soon as we get done I will come back and show you that okay we're walking around this house out here on the outside and little telltale signs will tell you stuff like this right here what is that I'll give you a few minutes down in the comments to try to find out what that is a little more over here on this uh Looks like somebody spray painted these uh, shutters. They used to be blue. But that one has got whatever that is. We'll walk around here. A little stuff like that we'll have to fix. Walk around to the back side. Still a bunch of trash here we gotta pick up. This one has the same thing. See it there? In there. In there in there hmm. there's a little more there a little more there there oh a little more there and there 
Hmm. Go over here to this one and check this one out. This window does not have it. It does have a screw stuck in it though. And it's stuck, so I'll have to get a machine to take it out. Go around here and check this window. There's no sand and gravel right now. That window does not have it. Hmm. Huh. Wonder what it is. Wonder what it is. I've got one more window here we can check. Right here by the front steps. These are temporary, by the way. Right here. And this window does not have it. Now you've had plenty of time to put it in the comments. What it is, it is air conditioner duct tape. It's tape that they put on air conditioners. It's like a cellophane wrapped duct tape, basically. So you may find yourself thinking, how in the world are we gonna fix this old beat up trailer? It looks like everything in it is messed up. Well, our secret weapon is Donnie's optimism. He thinks he can fix anything. And he's usually right. Oh look, somebody kicked a hole in the wall. Oh, that's no big deal. Oh look, the carpet's all messed up. We'll just replace it. Oh look, the entire heating and air system is missing. We'll have to get somebody to fix that. That's just how he thinks. So that's what you need to know about him. What you need to know about me is on my other channel, when I'm working on pinball machines and arcade games, I don't ever upload the video until I've already fixed it. So we'll see you on the next video.